Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. I am so glad that you decided to join me today. I am getting ready to go on a vacation, a birthday trip to Disney World with my toddler and today I'm going to share with you all my Disney bounding outfits and my evening outfits, things that me and my toddler are going to wear and any opportunity that I have to coordinate with my three-year-old. I'm gonna take it. So the weather is going to be around the 70s for next week in March, and then the evenings, it should be like in the high 50s. So I'm gonna show you some layering pieces, some different options that are going to work for you and your family this spring. Starting off with day one travel day, and oh my goodness let's start off strong with this happily ever threads cardigan like how adorable is this you have got to go check out happily ever threads it's miss Allie. she's a dear friend she's also from kentucky from the lexington area this is so stinking cozy it feels like i'm wearing a blanket it's a one size it's amazing and then let me step back here hopefully i've got my full body in here um, I've got this jumpsuit on which I can take this off as well if I'm really really hot it would work out perfectly for the plane because essentially I'm wearing like I said a blanket which is super awesome um, and then whenever I get to the Florida heat I've paired it with these Espadrille sandals which are stinking cute let me make sure that you can see them. <laughs> and I feel like I'm really far back I'm gonna have to check this spacing out but it's gonna be something that I will be able to wear when we arrive to Florida. I believe we're gonna be going straight to Blizzard Beach once we arrive, so we're gonna have fun there. So I shouldn't be in this too long, but again, like I said, the temperature is gonna be around in the 70s, so it should be perfectly fine coming from Kentucky to the weather. It's gonna be pretty chilly here, and then arriving to Florida, which is, like I said, spring weather. I wanted to show you what I got Annie to wear as well this is a, actually a two-piece this is a Lauren Conrad outfit I am loving these little wide pants the ribbed on it and um, just the same idea and she'll wear a cardigan as well just a little harder for kids that age to wear a one-piece kind of the same way I feel about one-piece bathing suits it's just harder because if they need to use the restroom so um, that is why I didn't go super matchy with it but the same concept with the wide leg pants and then the top I think it'll look really adorable on her on to our first full day at Disney World I am tomater so there's nothing super special about my outfits because it is just a generic t-shirt but I do recognize that a lot of people do love to go to Disney wear Disney World wearing t-shirts so um, and, and us included I don't want to say that we never wear t-shirts but to the effect of this is nothing super super special but I am obsessed with what I've picked out for Annie but just to kind of give you a lowdown on what I'm wearing um, this t-shirt is from Amazon as well as these biker shorts I got the teal because everybody that knows Mater used to be teal or like the turquoise so I pulled that in with my on cloud sneakers my OnCloud sneakers are my sneaker for Disney World. The first time I ever wore OnClouds, I never broke them in and I just started at Disney World, which most people would say is a sin, but it's actually not. Like they are the best. I've had these OnClouds for a year and I only wear them to Disney World. I don't wear them to anywhere else. Not outside of, outside of the house, nothing. Um, and they are phenomenal. But on to Annie's little outfit. So I did get her this little houndstooth, houndstooth skort and this little crop top right here and whenever I asked Annie what do you want to dress up as or like who do you love for Hollywood Studios and she said Lightning McQueen so obviously Toe Mater that's me and then so she's gonna be wearing this skort and this little crop top alongside this race car jersey button up thing that I got also off of Amazon and she's just going to kind of leave it open with uh, the hound's tooth underneath. Um, I thought that the hound's tooth instead of the checker uh, print would make this a little bit more girly plus the skirt which is super super cute with 
the little flap open it's just to die for so I'm so excited for her to wear this she's already seen it she's not tried it on but I think I think this is gonna be so adorable on her who doesn't love a classic Steamboat Lily t-shirt? Got this off of Kohl's, and I'm pairing this back with this really pretty skirt. It's got a slit, so it should be really easy for me to get in and out of ride. And then I've got these really pretty sneakers from Cole Haan, also off of Amazon. So this is one of my evening wears, probably that evening in Epcot or an evening in Hollywood Studios. And then, the reason why I said Epcot is because this, it's a flower and garden festival right now. And I think that this is absolutely adorable for Annie with a little short to go alongside it. And then in the print of my skirt, it does have some of like a light floral pattern to it. So could be definitely cute with whatever you wanted to wear it, but um, it's super cozy. I'm loving this look it's breezy it's a good spring look um so yeah i'm loving it and did i say i got this from kohl's for for annie um and then the price point was not bad at all i believe the set was like 25 dollars, but it is a part of their jumping bean line so it's pretty inexpensive you can use a coupon or kohl's cash etc but loving this are you a disney bounding outfit type of family like myself so this is obviously Mike Wazowski because Annie wanted to be Sully on our Magic Kingdom day. So totally opposite of what we typically do because she's typically very princessy, but today she wants to be Sully. So got this dress for her from Taylor Joel. If you've not checked out Taylor Joel, super cozy, comfy clothes for Disney World and even around the house. Like Annie, Annie loves it. Um, it's amazing so Annie Annie's gonna be wearing this and I got her some like little fuzzy things to go around some pigtails that will look just adorable with this and then obviously I've got my Monsters Inc ball cap I've got my Mike Wazowski tee on also from Taylor Joel this was from Amazon and let me just side note anything that I've I've noted about what I've gotten. I'm gonna have the link in the description box for you, specifically for Amazon, um, and then I will try if it's available to put like Taylor Joel stuff on here. I think I've got some Only Little Once options as well, and then Happily Ever Threads. I know I mentioned that as um, in addition to that. So, side note, back to it, Taylor Joel, and then I've got this white skirt that. I will live and die by these athletic skirts and dresses, like the built-in short underneath. Loving them. And again, I've paired back my on cloud sneakers with this, with the little no, -so no show sock. And honestly, I'm very, very comfy. And the plus on this hat is I won't have to wash my hair that morning. And can I hear an amen from all the moms? <laughs> Write in the comments if you're like, oh, well, hallelujah, I don't have to wash my hair one day. It's a super big plus. But I, I'm loving this. I think it's so fun. It's something different than what we typically do. And because it is cooler in the mornings, this is a cute option that I can just throw a jean jacket on top of this and it would look just as adorable. In addition to Annie's little dress, um, she could put a jean jacket over top of it or even just like a little light colored cardigan a, a lilac cardigan would look adorable with this Okay, so don't judge me Because I have not got the steamer to this yet But this is gonna be a great outfit for an evening dinner I think of like the boathouse or a Disney Springs evening just a calm calm evening um, loving this linen button-up top that simply just tucked it in these shorts are actually really comfortable you know what it reminds me of is an outfit that my mom wore whenever I was a child um, the 90s are coming back strong but I'm liking I'm liking the look I, I do have to say so um, again don't judge me because I have to steam all my clothes and I always bring a travel steamer with us anyway because you know certain fabrications they get a little wrinkly which I highly recommend I'm bringing this travel steamer with you makes things a lot easier when you get there nobody likes to iron but I'm loving this with this belt I actually got all these pieces like this top in the shorts off of Amazon this belt I believe is from Banana Republic and then I paired it with just a simple slide-on sandal I probably got from Kohl's as well and then I got Annie some matching shorts 
which I are I'm just I just love matching with my girl so I've got some matching white shorts she actually some moms you all might get a little scared of the white she actually does pretty decent but I will say if you do not have I've got a hair in my face if you do not have like the spray like the Miss Mouth spray it's absolute magic you got to travel with it when you go anywhere let alone Disney so that's why I'm kind of not afraid of whites for Annie um, so I'm gonna be having her wear this white short with this Minnie Mouse t-shirt and I I don't know if you'll be able to see the sunlight's coming in so it might be helping you see um, like the chiffon like the watercolors it's got some pinks in it and some hidden Mickey um, Mickey ears on there but got this guy from Target and I thought it would look really cute if she had it as well um, you know tucked in kind of like mama's got with probably like a cognac colored uh, shoe as well or a sandal. Hi guys, these are our dresses. These are our dresses. Who are you, Annie? Russell. You're Russell from Up, aren't you? Yeah. And then uh, who am I? Who am I? You don't know? What's this? What's this for? Who's that represent? Kevin? Yeah. <laughs> So Annie wanted to be Russell for Animal Kingdom Day and just taking an old athletic dress, like the squirts that I was, I've been telling you about, like just built in, living by it. So I just took an old dress that I'd had already um, and then paired it with this feathered fascinator. Gosh, that sun. Woo. Um, which is so fun, I thought, rather than just buying a whole new outfit to be Kevin, I was thinking like a blue top and like a yellow skirt and then some feathers might be a little bit too much. Um, and you know, just a, just a tad bit of information. Animal Kingdom will always be the hottest park of all, out of all of them, you silly goose, because of all of uh, the plants etc so just so you know ah, crazy face yeah. so just so you know I was not about to wear a bunch of feathers up in Animal Kingdom so I just settled with this fascinator but if you are a little bit more simplistic oh Annie putty mouth <laughs> if you are a little bit more simplistic this might just be the the thing for you next up is our morning to Epcot outfit um, so Annie, like I said, decided to be princessy for Magic Kingdom. Well, she decided to be princessy for Epcot, specifically for the country of France, who is the best representation other than Duchess and Marie that we did another time. Then Belle, are you gonna show everybody your Belle dress? So this is Annie's Belle dress, and this is from the same place as her Russell outfit. So this is from only little once is that the name of it i believe so so only little once just like taylor joelle super cozy oh let's not show our panties super cozy comfy dresses for your little ones so this is the bell one that she has been so excited to wear we'll probably wear like a red headband in her hair and then i just went for the light blue just of significance because bell in her other outfit is light blue I thought about maybe some bibs so that's an idea that you could do is um, like some overall bibs with like a white t-shirt underneath would be super cute that's really what I wanted to do but again I figured I would just wear something that I'd already had in an athletic dress same thing with the blue one that I just had on it's got the built-in bras so you don't really have to worry about picking out your undergarments. It's already built in. One less thing for you to have to worry about when packing, getting ready, putting yourself together. It's a win. These athletic dresses, awesome. Okay, walk the runway, sister. Woo, baby. Good job. Can you twirl for everyone? Can you twirl? Go ahead and twirl. Whoa. So beautiful. Oh, my turn. My dress doesn't go as slowly as yours. Walk. A walk. You mean, I don't know, I just hit my hand. I'm not as smooth as you. <laughs> Here is a good old classic red, black, and white outfit. I got my inspiration from Annie's little dress, her little overall dress, because I got it from Zara. Um, 
get, you want to get down and show them your outfit? Here. You want to spin? Ooh, so cute. Are you going to walk the runway again? Yeah. Yeah, go ahead. doing phenomenal. So I got the inspiration for her. Like I said, I got her dress from Zara. I'm going to wear those Espadrille black sandals that I had had on with my travel day outfit. And um, so I've got a blue jean skirt that's the same denim wash as her. So it's got that gray denim washy kind of color, a black bodysuit, and this kimono that I love. And I thought with like the skirt, I have worn a skirt before, but it's just mom life it's just so much easier when there's shorts underneath so i figured that a long kimono would be um provide that extra grace we will say if you know i'm having to be a mom and bending over etc it's just going to be a little bit more wholesome so i love this and it could also this kimono could also pair as a swimsuit cover-up like with a black swimsuit underneath would be really really cute um i might throw on like a little belt in here to kind of break up the um where did that go oh, my the, oh you're back i might throw on like this brown belt maybe that could be cute but i'm loving the black and red and white this screams hollywood studios to me um but we'll see what day we wear it okay all right, so here is my inspiration. The sun is wild. Here's my inspiration for my outfit. We got this dress from Target. It is, I'm loving Target. Like everything that they have right now is just stinking adorable. But it's this really pale khaki color, maybe almost a yellow with um, some checkered on there with some hidden Minnie Mouse on there. And so I figured, God bless you. I figured I could play off the colors because I wasn't going to be able to do exactly what she had, but this brown color is almost the perfect color of the Minnie Mouse ears on her. And then I just simply have like a white camisole underneath. And also I thought this might be cute, like coming off the shoulder maybe, or I could just wear it all the way on top. But this is a perfect spring outfit for Disney World because it's got like the coverage for the wind um so it's it's generally like the wind that makes everything so much colder so this would be perfect like a light sweater that you've got but like i was gonna say this is actually a bathing suit cover that i've just tucked in so a lot of bathing suit cover options with my outfits um i had the kimono now we've got this that um that is for dual usage which i love you don't just have a one-time use and then you're done with it so this i've got it all together paired back with like a khaki color uh two strip sandal um and also i got this entire outfit from amazon so i'm loving this i do always pack an extra outfit for a backup things that I might not necessarily wear, but just just in case I have the feeling. <laughs> or maybe we go to Epcot Flower and Garden Festival twice. This would be a wonderful outfit. I'm not gonna try it on, but I'm gonna show you. This is another dress from Target. Ooh, that sun is killing it. Um, this is from Target, which would be so adorable for Annie. Yes, baby, you're silly. You're so silly. Oh my goodness. And then I got this. This is a Draper James dress, which is super, this would be super, super cute. I love multiple patterns together. Um, so this, like, I guess it's like a gingham, very, very small gingham print, and then a pattern on pattern. It's like the perfect shades. So this would be a beautiful Flower and Garden Festival uh, outfit or theming. I am so happy that you joined me today and I'm hoping, fingers crossed, that I helped shed some ideas or inspiration for you and your family on your upcoming trip to Disney World. But I do have a pack with me coming so we're gonna figure out how we're gonna put all of this stuff in our luggage and head out to Disney World in eight days. So I'm pretty stinking excited about it. It's for my birthday trip. So there's a lot more vlogs coming. So make sure to like this video. It helps me out a ton. Subscribe so you can see all the extra content that is coming. And I'm super excited for you to see it and to join us on our trip. Until next time, I will see you on the video on the screen or at Disney World. Bye. I love you. Oh, I love you too.